Hi, and welcome back for another episode of Meet the Turners. I'm Nikki. I'm Aaron. And what do we have today? Okay, we have chicken and gravy. It's smothered in, we're smothered in gravy. We got onions and portobello mushrooms and it's just um, one of them, you know, I guess home cooked meals, I guess you can say. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we're working with today, and we um wash it down with our one of our favorites, the alkaline water, great value from Walmart. So without further ado, Father God, thank you for the food about to receive for nourishment for our bodies. These are all the blessings we do pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get it cracking. Juices and gravy and stuff. Mm. 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 Like I told y'all before, I like a lot of different flavors for that, for that birch, you know what I'm saying? It's a wonder you didn't put no spinach up in here. I'm doing mine. I don't know. I'm doing mine. I'm going to have that roughage. Trust you guys are having an awesome day. I know I am. Solving cases. Solving cases, boy. This weekend, and what I did was Law and Order, SVU, and NCIS, Los Angeles. Solve cases. Do they need me? I love onions and mushrooms. I love the combination of them. Mm -hmm. I start playing with the brother so good. And not just any mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. Or somebody go out here and just get the wrong kind of mushroom. Gotta be portobello mushrooms. So, a lot still going on in the news. The same old stuff. R. Kelly, you know, they say he ain't got no money to bail himself out. I mean, it's a million dollar bail. You know, so he just need like a hundred thousand. He's still um, in Cook County Jail. He ain't got no. So he ain't got. 
But what about his friends that he lose anything? Ain't nobody gonna rally together, get the hundred thousand up. Everybody mad with him. Mm. Everybody done with him, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. I kind of thought, you know, he must have ticked somebody off for real, for real. This time. <clears throat> Ain't nobody trying to put that predator back on the street. Mm-mm. He don't deserve to be on the street. He should go to jail, but his, his entourage should go to jail, too. Yeah. They were the ones that was bringing the girls to him. I was looking on Facebook and some lady had posted um fight R. Kelly, you better fight this and innocent until proven guilty. And everybody was like, he is guilty. What are you talking about? Right. He been guilty. Them girls ain't lie. They took too long to come forward, but they didn't lie. Oh, excuse me. It's like, people amaze me, but you still got some women that are falling head over heels for him, and, and you totally out his age group. He don't want you. Mm. And one dude, he was talking, you know, anybody, anybody who has a child, if you're our daughter, and there ain't no way you can look at your daughter and still defend this man. Right. Then I heard some people on Instagram who so said, I can't relate. I don't have children. I've never been molested. I can't relate. I'm just like, you ain't got to have children or be molested to empathize with somebody. Right. And know that if you did have children, you you wouldn't want that for your child. Come on now. Definitely a sad situation. You know, for a man who, you know, appears to be so talented, that he's dealing with a lot of uh, personal demons. Mm-hmm. I got a few mushrooms. Just hope and pray for the families he destroyed and, you know, to get some healing, you know? I don't feel sorry for him because he had the opportunity to get help after he got off scot-free with the first incident when they had the video of him peeing on the girl. And they still found him not guilty and set him free. That then right there should have been your wake-up call to say, hey... I got a sickness. I got to do something about this. No, you just went on ahead and kept on doing what you do. No, I don't feel sorry for him. I think he deserves everything he gets. And like mm-hmm. I said last, y'all yeah, yeah. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, you gotta get them jokers. You gotta get all these jokers. <clears throat> Robert Crab. I mean, sad to say about Robert Kraft is he's a White billionaire, he's not concerned no time. I mean, we 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 already know. Mm-hmm. No, he's not serving no time. But flip part about that is if you did prosecute him <coughs> to the full center of the law. It was sent a, a big message, huge message, out to the other billionaires who doing it. But their money gonna get them all. And they know it. They 
they know it. And even and even if you um put him on a, on a sex offender registry, what good is that? He's a billionaire. Ain't like he gonna go for no job. <laughs> you know that. You know. And ain't ain't nobody living near him. Yeah. yeah. So. And you know, you, know, you can't live with a certain amount of feet of a school or whatever. Right. I'm sure his home ain't nowhere near no school. His mansion. I'm sure. <coughs> Ridiculous. So, in this country, are we still succumbing to white privilege and money? Mm, seems that way to me. Mm-hmm. As long as people can be bought. And from what I'm looking at, people can still be bored. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a shame. <clears throat> oh, why is on my mind? Because you know I forget. Um, T.I. Sister Precious went yeah. on the floor the other mm-hmm. day. Right. I didn't even know she was sick. I don't know. No, I don't the know the backstory. Mm. Oh, she's in a car She's in a car yeah. Oh, yeah, she's I didn't know that. Yeah, she was in a car accident. I'm definitely, um, Prayers to uh, T.I. and his family. Mm. But, um, yeah, she was in a car Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. She never really made it through, you know, from an injury. Right. I'm so sorry to hear that. They were really close. I just had to say that before I forget. I definitely keep keep them in prayer. Mm, we got a dog early today. Mm. Somebody hear the dog barking? No, fair. Somebody walking past them. There's going to be people walking out through that alley all hours of the night. Day and night. What else going on in the news? And we're still just a small that. Why are they? What, what, what's going on there? What? And they're just saying more stuff. You know, where it's time. They said he blames on a drug addiction. Like he uh, made up a story. So. I told you. Drugs will make you just make up a store for no reason. And no personal gain. What are you getting out of it? The hire folks to beat you up. Yeah. Try to say it's a hate crime. Like, I mean, is that like almost borderline narcissism? You think? I don't know what it is. It's crazy. One child's in thumbs. But I mean, well, that is just craziness. I'm telling you, like I said yesterday, Anyala will get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Anyala Van Zant fixed my life. You need to, you need to, to check on him. 
Anyana would get to the bottom and break all of that up. He'll be a whole new person. Whole new person. Oh. After finishing with her. Mm. But definitely um, you know, prayers to that young man. Mm. It's a crazy situation. But you gotta you gotta wonder why somebody would tell a lie of that magnitude. Like that was a huge lie. You know, the lie was just the whole scheme was just paying somebody to beat yeah. you beat you up and all that. You know, and then you got them buying the MAGA hats. Mm -hmm. You know, <sighs> yeah. spouting racial slurs, saying they're a Trump supporter. And this is why young lady, um, I forgot the university. I'll try to have it the next time we um, air. Uh, she's fighting the university about uh, wearing the MAGA hat. Uh -huh. You she know. she wants to wear it. Yeah. And um Ugh man, this this is where we at in this country, man. You know, this is where we Why at. Why you th that should be not even be a concern. Your school, you in school. And you fighting about a darn hat. And they're sad too. And I forgot where this is at too. Mm. You had, I think the boy was nine, ten years old with the lemonade stand raising money for the, to build a wall. You know, and this is this is where it's going again with how we teach our kids the racism. You know. That is crazy. Uh. That is absolutely The kid don't even know what he's doing then. Like the oh. parents talk about you know, we're proud because of conservatives and all this type of stuff. And they said they have one son who's not a, a quote-unquote conservative. Mm -hmm. But it's like, we got this young kid, and they show pictures of him, you know. Talking about, you know, buy the lemonade, you know, raise money to build a wall. Kids shouldn't even be involved in this right. instance. For real, for real. It sure is choking me for some reason. What's going on? Now, Obama, you need he need to come back anyway. So they don't know they don't know the they don't know the detail. They they looking at the basics, which probably saying to keep our, our country safe. Yeah, you know, and, and it's sad because the, the child don't really know. Mm -mm. And like I said before. The, the ones that's coming over here, they don't want no smoke. They trying to, they coming over here for a better life. Mm -hmm. They come over here working, starting their own businesses, being productive members mm -hmm. of society. Yeah. Like, they not trying to go to jail or get sent back to Mexico. <gasps> Oof. Mm. Yeah, that, that's just ridiculous. Um, yeah. They, they paid us something for Yes, this world. This world is truly going to hell in a handbasket. And quick. It's just country. Mm -hmm. These people defending these designers. It's not racist. It's not, you know. Shut up. Aaron, your chicken was good. Thank you. It was something else I had to say. We gotta do better. We get in here and ready to talk, and then we don't. We can't remember something. You and I both need to start writing stuff down. You wanna do it? Yes. Keep going. It ain't just me. It's you too. Hey. Mm -hmm. You just forgot something earlier. I don't can't remember what it was. Mm. <laughs> 
did you do for yourself? So I don't know. Well, my Obama shirt, cause this is my way of trying to summon him, him back. He out there, he out here living his best life. <laughs> he need to come on back here, get this mess straight, get forty five straight, cause forty five is straight tripping. And forty five had a nerve to say something about Justice Smollett, but he ain't say nothing about um Crab, Robert Crab. You saw that. He made a comment about Justice Smollett, but you don't say nothing about Robert Crabb. Hmm. I'm saying I ain't going back and forth with you Negroes. We the like, ones he got. He, I see he need to get forty five straight. Hmm. You know why ain't you make a statement about Robert Crabb and the mess he did? That's a billionaire buddy. Y'all better wake up. Oh. All right. Well, we slow this thing I down. I know, real quick. Yeah, so, again, um... Look at Michelle. Mm -hmm. Oh, spill. as always, if you enjoy our content, oh, please me. like, comment, and share, and subscribe <laughs> to this and channel. Again, <laughs> again, thank you for all the support. Oh, We've got a series of burps going on. Yes. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But, um... Again, thank you for all the support, and you know we're just really um, enjoying the ride. And um, again, we'll get better and better with the uh, technical part, the mics and um, cameras, and you know all that. So, you know, this is what we're working on. So, um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm okay. my sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.